innovation of the last night because it was quite a good evening for you, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. We uh, got the foundation um, for the Innovation Award for Real Work. Yeah, it's got a Well, well done because that is a real recognition um, in, what, in what team you've done in the last 10 years of developing it. It's marvellous and after 10 years of hard work it's something we're uh, very proud of uh, to get and we'll all be thrilled in the office when we get that. Well the judges had an opportunity to have a very good look clearly to give you that award so let, let us have a look now and let's delve into the work of the Exeter. Tell us all about it. Okay, I've, look, right. As I said it's uh, taken 10 years of very hard uh, research to get this uh, to the point where we're at today. Our background is um, human body composition and we've been doing that for over 30 years now. We're, we are a leader in the field worldwide of that. We have different devices in the human uh, section that looks at body fat, um, body water, and also cellular health. Um, and that's used in a lot of the critical care um, industries um, to plot health over time and to see whether or not intervention is working. Um, so with horses, um, that translates to uh, looking at the body fat of the horse, we also look at the weight of the horse as well, um, and we also look most importantly at the hydration status. Now from the hydration status, we can then look at the actual health of the cells and see how, whole, how, how healthy that horse is internally. How we do that is, we look at um, the total body water of the horse, and then from the information we get fed back through the device, we can look at how much water there is inside the cell and how much water there is outside the cell. So from that we can work out how thick the cell wall is. Now, if you're healthy, then you have a solid, uh, thick cell wall. So you won't get much leaking from inside the cell to the extracellular area. If you're not very well, this cell wall will be weak um, and there'll be leaking between the two areas. So it is, it can get very complex. We can also look at plasma volume, which of course is looking at white blood cells and looking at the stress on the heart of the horse has been overworked, which of course leads onto your electrolytes and knowing whether or not you need to top up the old electrolytes to uh, make sure the horse is on top of its performance. And I presume, Louise, taking regular readings from a horse, if you start to see a pattern and therefore you get to know your horse and its condition extremely well over a period of time. Yes, and then absolutely. be able to read signs. Absolutely, absolutely. It won't tell you what's wrong, but it'll just tell you that you need to focus on a particular area. And also if you've got any intervention going on, such as a particular diet or there are particular drugs, then you'll be able to track whether or not that's improving the horse's health as a whole and also at a cellular level. There is nothing like this in the market place at the moment. So it makes my job really difficult because there's so many different areas where this product can be effective that it's where to where to start. I think you'll actually take a reading now, which is yes, yes, sure yes, how you do. Talk us through the process of what you actually works. do. My able assistant over there, I'm sure we'll fetch me uh, some results we did earlier. The test itself only takes a few seconds um, and then you can um, either print it into Bluetooth or you can um, run it up to a uh, printer. Uh, yes, yes. The only um, consumables that there actually are for the device um, is this electro gel, which is basically just a scan gel as you would use um, with a normal scan. So that's only pennies um, after you've made the initial purchase for the product. Um, all you do is um, make sure you strap the electrode just above the knee on the front and rear leg. We use the left hand side because that's obviously the side that the uh, horse is used to work in. Um, we then make sure that the electrodes that uh, um, connect us here are actually on the belly of the muscle towards the front of the leg so we have good conductivity um, between the two. All we do is we make sure we've got enough gel on the nodules there to make sure that it uh, has good conductivity with the skin. One there, and then obviously to complete the circle, we'll just pop that on the back as well. It's very um, a simple process. All we do is run seven different frequencies um, through the horse, very, very low. The horse doesn't actually feel anything. If anybody's uh, been to Boots or goes to the gym and has a body fat test, 
you'll know yourself when you stand on the stairs or if the electrodes placed on your hands and your feet, you don't actually feel anything. And it's exactly the same for the horse. The only data that you actually need to enter within the device is the horse conditioning score, the body conditioning score. We actually use a 1 to 10 uh, ratio rather than the 1 to 5. Louise, doesn't it stop? This looks look all a bit alarming. Talk us through what's going to happen it next. Does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's seven very, very small um, frequencies that we run through the horse. Um, as I said before, it doesn't actually feel anything. This is just to make sure the electrical current is going to go in and on complete the circuit for the device. Okay, so I've just switched the device off. The other parameter that we added there is the height of the horse as well. So I'll just enter those two. The test actually takes about 11 seconds. Um, we just need to make sure that the horse doesn't actually move. Um, and then that will give us a good result. Okay, that's the test completed. So that's as long as the actual test takes itself. And as you can see, the horse not bothered it whatsoever. Treat with Peter Sile. And some uh, results I've tended earlier today. Which, uh, just a minute. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Thank you. Um, what we have is a little Bluetooth printer and it just prints out like a, a shopping list uh, receipt. Um, as you can see there, it just gives you um, the numerical information. Now this um, horse we tested, we tested in the morning just after um, she had been travelling. Um, we actually weighed her in at 475 kilograms. Now this is a full part figure but it does give you a very tight estimation on how much the horse will weigh key for making sure you've got the correct drug dose and also the correct worming um, dose. It gives you the total fluid volume, which in this case was 68.8. It also gives you the recommended ranges, which are between 60 and 68, so we just overhydrated there. Um, we then have the intracellular fluid and the extracellular fluid. Um, now, again, this is looking at the health of the cell itself and the thickness of the cell wall. Um, this was actually 64.2 and it should be between 60 and 67. So we've actually got a very healthy horse there. As I said, you can have your plasma volume, which we have on here, um, which again is fine. And we have the percentage body fat, which is on the upper range of it. It should be between 7 and 18, and we've actually got 16 here. So, you know, we're good and healthy. It's a nice position to be in the winter when we all need a less protection padding, um, just to make sure we keep warm during the winter. Um, you can also then check that the results are accurate by looking at the different frequencies and making sure the numbers um, fall in order. So that's all information that you can upload to your software and track your change over time. And Louise, we've seen the machine here, of course, it's at some distance from the audience, but you've got them on stand. And you've exactly. actually got, you can, they are working on the stand. They are, yes. Let's just go back to the Innovation Award. As you said, there's 10 years of work behind you. Yes. Why has it taken so long to get this to the marketplace? It's, well, I'm told by some people, some people that's uh, a relatively short period of time to get something moving. Feels like a very, very long time there. It's making sure the electronics are absolutely spot on. Um, when we initially started, we take the length of the horse as well as the height of the horse rather than body conditioning score. But then as we looked into it, we found that the body conditioning score is actually giving us a better, more accurate result. And of course, because a lot of the information is based on algorithms, then we need to do a large range of courses to make sure that those algorithms are as correct and tight as possible. Um, and of course, you do get direct readings as well, but to make sure you have the full range of information and to get the scientific papers of how got to the now, whilst of course we're here talking about the horse owners, I know that it's a credit to the machine to the Atkins Cap, but other vets are now using the equipment, aren't they? Yes, they are. Um, you can spot it if we look at the hydration. You can have a look at that, and if they're really, really overhydrated, then that indicates that they're a dentist. So we can break that down and look at that. Is that extracellular water, intracellular water? How healthy is the cell? 
So although it's not going to tell you what's wrong, it'll give you an indication of whether or not something is going on inside that needs a bit more looking into. Great, well let's just remind ourselves where the stand is. Funny you should say that, we're just round the corner. Um, we're on E6.2. E6.2. If people can come along and have a close look at the Etna stamp machine work. Yes, absolutely. Well, Louise, many congratulations on your highly commended last night in Thank the you. Innovation Awards. And E6.2, you can go along and see Louise just and have a look, closer look at the Etna stamp machine. Thank you very much indeed, That's Louise Wellness. Thank you. Thank you.